Hello folks, it's Daniel here from Shoot Create Captivate. Today I wanted to talk about a new update to the masking features inside of Lightroom. Now a couple of weeks ago I demonstrated how I create the masks with the new masking features inside of Lightroom. As you can see here, we've got two parts to this mask over here. We've got one where we selected the subject and two where we created or intersected a linear gradient with our subject giving us the ability to edit just a portion of our background, as you can see over here. Now, one of the issues that we did have is that when we clicked on the next image and we said synchronize or clicked previous, we'd have to then go in and actually redo our masks, okay? There was no automation in that process. It would apply a mask, but it wouldn't match up with what we've got in our next image. Now, with this new update, we don't have to worry about recreating new masks for our images. Now, let me just go out of this, okay? Go back to our image right here. Uh, we've got all of our development settings over here with our adjustments, including the masks that we made over here, okay? Now, with this recent update, we don't have to worry about recreating our masks. It's done by AI intelligence automatically for us. So I'm gonna simply click on the next image over here and I'm gonna click previous and you'll see your settings were pasted but updating AI masks may take some time. And there we go. That mask, including all of the image adjustments that we made in the development module are carried over to our next image. So we don't have to worry about going in and manually adjusting any of our masks. It's done automatically for us. You can see this is a duplicate of what we had before. We've got subject one and we've got linear gradient one right there. Now I can hear you guys saying, well, that's the same image. You know, of course it would apply pretty good. But the great thing about this is that we can take a completely different image. Let's say for example, one of his brother on the bike and we can run that process right here. Let's, let's choose this image over here and go previous. Watch this. Your settings were pasted and the AI masks are being worked out for us. There you have it. Okay, look at that folks. All we need to do now is obviously just to adjust the crop on this image, but all of the, all of the settings that we did apply, including the masks are applied to this image right here. And you can see it inside the mask options over here. Uh, the AI has actually looked at this image, analyzed it, identified the subject, and then applied the mask accordingly, okay? So there you folks have it, a very simple process that allows us now to synchronize multiple images together, and the mask will be carried across those different images automatically for us. We no longer have to go in and make manual adjustments to those masks. So there you folks have it. I hope you enjoyed this little update today and we'll see you in the next session. Ciao for now.